Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from today's iPhone.com and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of the new iTunes 11. If you haven't already updated, you should definitely update to the newest version of iTunes. It's free via your software update. If you want to do it through your computer, you can just go right to Apple's website and download it from there. Uh, it's a pretty significant update and it's the first time in a while that Apple's actually updated iTunes uh, significantly. So uh, let me just run you through some of the biggest new features. Uh, let's start with the navigation because you'll notice here this is the first time I'm opening it up on this computer. Uh, so it has this, this little um, splash screen just to show you where everything is now. So your music, movies, and more is right here. So if we agree to that. There's no more sidebar up on the left where you have all of these options. Instead, it's done in this pull-down menu. So you can go to movies, uh, podcast, TV shows right there. Now it's worth noting that if you don't like this view, and I gotta say I kind of prefer the sidebar, all you have to do is go to view, um, show sidebar, and then you can you have this back. So I, I'm probably gonna stick with this, but um, for the sake of showing you the new stuff, let's, let's hide the sidebar. So then up here at the top you can sort your music into uh, artist, albums, genres, songs, um, so this is basically pretty similar to what we've had before. It's just a little bit, the, uh, the organization is pretty different. Um, now one thing you'll notice that if you scroll through this and, you know, you can play something, it's really quick. This is one thing that I've seen a lot online is that the new iTunes is very fast. And I gotta say, um, I definitely agree. There's a, there's a noticeable difference in the speed, which is definitely really, really nice. If you have a lot of stuff in your iTunes library, it can sometimes get bogged down, which is uh, not the best thing in the world. Um, so if we browse through the different music, you can see there's just a bunch of diff really cool different ways to to go about doing this. One totally new way to look at your music is via the albums, and wow, I have uh, some embarrassing music in my iTunes, so let's uh, let's just uh, ignore that for the sake of the video. Um, so if I wanted to look at, let's see, let's look at this Beatles album. So you click it and then it pops up there. It's very reminiscent of iOS folders. You can see it, it has a little uh, arrow right here and um, it just pops down, slides everything else out of the way. Uh, this is pretty cool. I like this feature a lot. There's also a new mini player, so if I turn the volume down I get a song playing. You can see right up here you can click that button and it it brings you to this new mini player. You can throw this anywhere. There's um, airport access right through there. You can see what's next in the song track list and that's very very cool and very convenient. There's a bunch of really cool new iCloud features as well. You have, uh, if you start a song or a video in iTunes on your computer, it will remember it and you can pick up right where you left off on your iPad or on your iPhone or on a second computer. Um, there are purchase recommendations right from your music library which is very cool. And then the last big thing to look at is the new iTunes store which looks a lot more like um, the iOS version of the iTunes store. You have the banner up here. You can see this uh, is not as speedy as the uh, browsing through your library. It does lag a little bit. That's probably just because uh, there's, you know, all of this is internet based and there are tons of people trying to go through this right now. Uh, but, you know, you have your music, you have your movies. Everything in this new iteration of iTunes was in the previous version. Uh, almost everything, at least. It's just a lot of it is based on the design and the, um, you know, just the look and feel of iTunes. It definitely feels sleeker. So this is iTunes 11. Like I said before, you can download it via, if you go to iTunes, check updates. Or you can go to the Apple website and do it through that. But, um, yeah, it's definitely, I think, worth the upgrade. It looks, it looks good. So uh, that's it for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Jake from today's iPhone.com. If you have any comments or questions about iTunes 11 or basically anything about iOS in general, uh, please feel free to let me know in the comments section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. As always, the links to everything I talked about in this video are in the description down below, so definitely check those out. And as always, for more news, views, and reviews, don't forget to check out today's iPhone.com.